see I'm back on the file coast again I'm back at Lytham um, there was just a little bit of I was sat in at home having a cup of coffee and basically there was the tiniest glimpse of orange looking out the kitchen I thought you know what I'm gonna try again so what I'm gonna do tonight is I've come back down to Lytham and I'm just gonna have a potter about as you can see the tide is a lot more rough than it was the other night and it's not quite out so it's very difficult to take shots of these boats because they're moving about so you can't really do a long exposure as such you can just do um, just your normal standard shots but I think in a little moment when the tide goes out um, as the tide recesses what it'll do is those boats will be kind of lodged on the floor and it makes it a little bit long a little bit better to make um, to do long exposure photography now while I'm here tonight I just thought I'd quickly go through um, just some of the filters that I use I got asked on Facebook got asked on Twitter lots of times what's the best filters for doing your type of photography so at the moment my favorite type of filters are <clears throat> hi guys so as I was saying my first choice of filter would be this 100 by 100 mil it's a 1.8 which is a six stop filter by format high tech um, and this is a holder that goes in this is a firecrest holder and it's really really simple this attaches to the polarizer and what you would do is you just put simply push your filter on and it's got a case which stops any light leaks you have a plastic cover that goes over the top um, if you don't want to put an ND filter in the top um, so that would be my first um, choice filter a six stop filter for me it gives us anywhere between half a second and six seconds or ten seconds depending on the weather conditions like today where it's quite mean and moody you probably get um, maybe ten seconds um, but I like to keep my exposures at this moment around about the three between half a second and three seconds just to try and keep some of this lovely, lovely movement in the water, um, some kind of waves and some stuff like that, rather than make it completely flat and the clouds um, zip past. So yeah, so that would be my first filter choice. And then a filter that's very similar to this one um, is 100 by 100 mil, and that would be the 0.9, which would be a three stop filter. And that again is a, a filter that gives you half a second um, exposures and um, on your normal settings, so your F11 ISO, 100 ISO 64 and it aims to give you roughly about one one second half a second that kind of area and it's just enough when you go to a waterfall it just helps us a little bit to control the light as the sun comes out and it's on my face I'm not too sure if you can see that now but um, I'll just put the filter up there and hold it if you can see it but wow that's beam of light coming and um, it's not as more exciting as it was the other night but um, you know I might even get a shot tonight so yeah that's my first two filters so the three stop the six stop Sorry, I just had to turn the camera around to just kind of show people what can happen, you know, when you just come out and you make the effort to come out. Um, you can just see over there where the white church is, and this sun is absolutely amazing. At the moment, it's lighting them boats up, but like I say, these, these boats with the, t with the tide um, being, you know, being going out quite quick now, the boats are rocking about. So unless you do a, like a, a really fast shot speed, like one five hundredth of a second, um, just do a token shot, but well, I think it looks really nice there with the with the um, just with the light in the side of that boat, and I just think it looks glorious at the moment. I mean, two weeks ago or two or three weeks ago, should I say, when I was stood at this position, the sun would be right behind the white church there and uh, illuminating it from the back. So it just shows you where the sun sun at sunset shifting back round. Um, yeah. So anyway, I'm going to take a few shots. Right guys, my second filter that I would use, so I've got the six stop on now, and at the moment I've got in my hand, I've got a 0.6 soft edge grad. It's a former, um, former high-tech Firecrest Ultra. 
and that simply would um, push the zone on top like that just to adjust your skyline and um, that would be my second one or just the, just this filter on its own it's quite easy and as you can see there um, I can't really do this I'm not too sure but you can just see just when you what you would do is slide that down to your horizon or just before the horizon just to give that bit more detail in the sky and that's what I kind of do um, so that would be my second one and the other one I would use because the light's going at the moment um, or if it's a little bit brighter I would use a 0.9 which is really hard a lot more darker sorry and it just makes for some moody skies so what you would do all you can see me doing now is you get the holder and you would simply bring it over pull the clip back as simple as that now if I push this down you can just see the difference so what you would normally do because you've got a soft edge grad you can get hard edge grad which is really straight across but what you would do with this filter this is only a 0.6 and the, the light conditions have gone a little bit darker now so I would normally probably have it to about there just to kind of keep the details in the sky um, and that looks quite quite mean and moody there and don't forget this is a video at the moment um, so at the moment I'm at f11 even recording you can lift it up a little bit more you know or you can drop it down just that touch and you can just see above above here how much how much more detail you've got in the sky and really for me that just makes a lot of the, the editing process um, very straightforward and um, stra quite simple to be fair um, you just simply take the shot and um, just a case of removing you know any imperfections i.e. dust spots or little blurs or if there's a bollard that's moving about um, just remove those things you know and, and it's just quite simple to be fair there's nothing too complicated you just slide it up to your desired whatever you like you can have it a little bit high you can push it down a little bit low you know or you can take it to the side if it's if the sun's on this side for instance you can turn it that way and then when you move the polarizer as well um, if we can just move the polarizer if I turn the polarizer you can see how much brighter it is on the water the glare even this dark condition if I turn it down as it goes darker it's going a bit more muddy brown as you can see and and this would just help remove the glare so if you're at a waterfall and stuff like that it just cuts the, the water the glare off the water right guys I'm going to wrap it up there now because it's actually starting to rain you can't believe it so we had an epic sunset and um, we had some beautiful clouds and now it's going to start absolutely hammering it down so run through this is a 0.6 um, soft edge grad it's a format high-tech firecrest ultra i use a three stop filter mainly and a six stop filter those are kind of my go-to filters i've got a range of other filters i've got the 10 stop in the bag i've got a 16 stop um, so but at the moment these are my favorites so um, so this is what i use a lot to do the boat photography down at here in this location when you go to a different landscape or you go to the lake district filters might be different but on seascapes these are what i use i use a six stop three stop a 0.6 and a 0.9 those are my go-to um, filters for doing this sort of photography um, and the conditions obviously will vary I use all format high-tech stuff because I'm a brand ambassador for format high-tech so I'm sure there'll be lots of thumbs down because I mentioned I'm a brand ambassador but um, I enjoy it and um, I really hope you've enjoyed this vlog I really hope you um, you know you've taken something away also as well at the moment at this location I'm running mini one-to-one so come down for an hour I'll leave a link in the description below so you can come down quite easily social distance here you can quite easily stand there I can quite easily talk to you and, and show you we can be a meter apart it's quite safe um, you know we're out in the open air um, just come down and learn it's quite easy sometimes to pick up the basics by actually being on location so yeah so anyway let's hello waffling and until next time take care